What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today we're taking a look at the players of the week. And we have got some... Yeah, look, this is a mixed bag, lads. I don't think that this is probably the best player of the week selection that they've had. I think it's one of the weakest. Now, there is a couple of gems in here. Bellingham with track back, obviously, as highlighted there. You've also got Griezmann and Giroud. Uh, Giroud has got super sub, as he does on most of his cards. And then you've got Wea as well, who has been impressive for the USA this uh, this year so far. But yeah, they're missing a lot of players of the week. I don't think that they... I don't think that, you know, they, they could have picked a lot better players for this. Uh, I would have liked to have seen a couple of other guys in here. But obviously with licenses issues and stuff like that, um, it is going to be difficult sometimes to get players in that you possibly might want. So yeah, Wea is an interesting one. We're going to get to him. But we're also going to take a look over on eFootballDB as well, just to check out their standard versions. And I'm going to show you how these kind of track with the standard versions and the players that also have a national team version, such as Bellingham or such as Giroud or Griezmann or whoever we decide to pick. So we've got Bellingham, Christensen, Shaw, Giroud, Nopart, Preciado, who's been very impressive this season, I think, uh, in the World Cup, Saka, Griezmann, Rabio, Talbi and Wea. So we are going to start with Wea, who's 89 overall. He's down as a right winger, but I would actually probably play him as a centre forward. He's finishing at 79 and dribbling at 80 is just good enough, right? Anything over 75 dribbling uh, is, is okay, but anything over 78 is going to give you that extra little bit of pace uh, when you you know are shooting the ball. Extra little pace on the ball. Um, he doesn't have massive curls, so you're not going to be finesse shot, and you're just going to be kind of pointing and shooting with this guy running, gunning. He's 88 acceleration, 86 speed. Now, what I like about this guy is he does have super sub. He doesn't have unwavering form, which is a pity because everyone's on C form this week. You kind of need that uh, until Thursday. But the rest of his player skills are okay. First time shot. He doesn't have any passing skills, which sometimes when you've got a player with low passing ability, you need to have one or two passing player skills. But he doesn't have them apart from... Um, a lot of dribbling skills but yeah as a winger i wouldn't really use him his dribbling at 80 isn't enough uh to beat players like consistently with doing tricks and stuff but yeah as a as a as an option to come on i think in the second half uh, as a super sub he definitely is worth a punt now if we actually go over uh to efootballdb.com and we take a look at his regular version here uh you can see that you can kind of get the standard version uh for fairly Fairly good kind of comparison here. You've got the 80 offensive awareness. You've got the 77 finishing. You've got 80 dribbling. You've got 86 speed and 88 acceleration. The only thing that you're kind of really lacking there uh, between that card and this card uh, is kind of like um, the heading ability and his passing ability. That's the only thing that you're really lacking there. You can see here that he's got 73 passing uh, compared to 64 here and 62 lofted. So you know, that doesn't really bother you too much. He's also listed as a center forward. That's not going to really bother you too much, I don't think, if you're going to be bringing this guy on as a super sub. You know, that would not bother me in the slightest because, you know, if you have him in good form and he's up on a form arrow, uh, you're going to want to play him. If you don't, then you just don't bring him on. It's as simple as that. We've also got Talby here, who is a center back. Uh, Tunisia he's got blocker and he has interception as well as man marking which is quite decent he does not have unwavering form but he is fairly tall good heading ability good physical contact good defensive awareness like he's just a good average to good center back he's not really to shout home about he does have some brilliant player skills like the best player skills you could have as a center back with the height he has but yeah he's not going to be He's not going to be replacing your main center back guys. Rabio is similar. He's got brilliant stats all across the board. He also does have standard form, but he's got really good player skills. We featured Rabio before in the French pack, so go and check him out if you want to have a more in-depth look at him. But yeah, he gets around the pitch. I do think there are better box-to-box -box players than him. I still have to do that video about box-to-box -box and packing your midfield, depending on what player you want to choose in midfield. Do you want kind of passers or do you want workhorses? It's two very different experiences. But Rabiot is a good player, man. I would definitely play him as a DMF. I wouldn't play him as anchor man. I would use him as kind of a box-to-box -box chase and hassle and harry and everything like that. Um, we've also got Griezmann. Now, Griezmann was released as a French pack. I mean, this is why it's disappointing because out of these guys here, right, you've got like six of these guys that have been released in packs already. So it's kind of, you know, it is kind of a bit like anticlimactic that you're going to be having guys that come on. Now, uh, super sub for Griezmann is huge. I know unwavering form is huge. This is a very good card if you do end up spinning for him. 
His acceleration and speed might let him down on first look, but the rest of his player skills, absolutely quality. I definitely think Griezmann is one of the most underrated and slept on players in the game, definitely. And I will be looking forward to playing with him a little bit more in future videos. We've also got Saka. I mean, Saka does exactly what he says on the tin. He's got pace, he's got dribbling, and he has also got uh, unwavering form and track back, chop turn, and a lot of player skills. So that's all you really need to know about Saka. He can also play left back, which I see a lot of people using him as a left back as well. One touch pass, low lofted pass, uh, boost up his low uh, pass ability. Uh, so that 77 isn't really an issue. And that's what I was talking about earlier in the video. We also have Preciado. He's got very nice stats. I would have liked to see his tackling and aggression a little bit more because every match you know I've seen of him playing so far, he's he's an absolute beast, man. He's a demon around the pitch. Really, really impressed with him in the World Cup. Very good player. Speed, acceleration, stamina, and dribbling, all you need. The only thing that lets him down there, I think, is his defensive awareness and aggression if you are going to be playing a very defensive fullback style with him because he is a, an offensive fullback. Uh, no part, obviously, the, the Netherlands keeper. He's a massive giant of a man. He doesn't have any player skills apart from a uh, high punt, but he does have unwavering form. And also he has all the team play style as the rest of them do as well. Physical contact, that's not really an issue unless you uh, are going to be, you know, bringing him out the pitch with runs. Um, but the, the goalkeeper reflex is just a little bit too low in my opinion that if you do spin him, I don't think he's worth playing. Giroud, we will take a look at Giroud over any football DB as well in a second. His standard card. Um, yeah, fairly decent card. I mean, you've got head 93, you've got 92 jump. And you have 90 physical contact, which is fairly decent. His speed, obviously, is the biggest uh, detraction here from this card. But everything else is fairly decent with the 84 finishing. Now, look what I was saying, lads, right? This is his standard card for Giroud, 51,000 GP. Very similar card, pretty much identical card apart from the low pass and apart from a couple of other stats there as well as the jump and kick and power and speed and acceleration. But you've got almost an identical card if you don't want to spin this week, but you do want your route. Just buy your standard card, man, genuinely. There is also another version of him on the AC Milan card or the French card, which are slightly better and more in line with this player of the week card that we see here. So yeah, he is definitely worth to have. Luke Shaw, again, a run of the mill left back. It doesn't have blister and pace, but has better aggression and tackling. That's what I like to have seen uh, the other guy Preciado have is that aggression at about 80 plus and tackling 80 plus as well so this card is actually quite better uh in a, in a lot of ways but his passing and his lofted passing are beautiful if you are a possession based player and then we've got Christensen and Bellingham last uh who are probably two of the best players on this I mean Christensen is a player that I haven't really looked at he has got that build up play style right Tight possession and low pass are very important if you are a centre back now playing, you know, three at the back or five at the back, four at the back. It doesn't matter. You need to have ball playing centre backs, at least one. If you if you have five at the back, you need at least two. If you have four at the back or three at the back, you need at least one. So I would definitely think this guy is worth looking at. 89 tackling, 89 defensive engagement, 88 awareness, but then 86 jump. 83 low pass, 76 ball control, 77 tight possession. Very unique player. He doesn't have blocker, but he doesn't have interception. And he's quite tall. So he definitely is worth a spin, I think, in my opinion. And he's probably the pick of it with Bellingham. Bellingham is a very interesting card. He's got track back. So you can play him as an AMF. Uh, if you wanted to do so uh, and you can play him kind of anywhere on the pitch he's got unwavering form interception he's got double touch he's got heading rising shot one touch pass so he's got dribbling passing and defensive player skills which is the ultimate what you need if you are looking for a box to box like if you're looking for a Goretzka a Bellingham a Kamavinga a Chouamini uh, any of those players that you want it to be kind of meta or dominant and he's got brilliant stats across the board now if we take a look at Bellingham's card over on eFootballDB we'll see the English card is practically identical so this is the England pack 32 levels and you can train him up whatever way you want you can actually train him better than this card for the player of the week um but he doesn't have track back and he has a different uh, player skills kind of selection. And then his regular card uh, is for under 100,000 uh, GP, uh, 91 centimeter or 91 centimeters, 91 CMF, 41 levels. So there's a lot of training to go in with him. Um, but again, you get a very, very good card in that as well. Like you've got identical defense stats uh, to the player of the week in the England card. You've got identical speed and acceleration, um, but the rest of the stats are just slightly lower. So that is it for me, lads. Another player of the week. 
to me, I would probably skip unless you want Bellingham or Christensen if you want to take the gamble with that. Um, there are some good cards in there. I think the two of them are pretty decent. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. You only get five remaining of that. So you get five spins at that, uh, that they've kind of in increased that a little bit. I definitely think if you had 500 coins and you don't have the England pack and you don't have uh, you haven't played with Bellingham before, uh, I definitely think, you know, he is worth if you were to spin five and get him into five. And I think Christensen would be as well. But the rest of them, I would probably say, no, they're probably not. So that's just my opinion, because you should have players. If you are a newcomer, obviously, they're always going to be improving your squad. But yeah, if you've been playing for a while, they probably won't. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Peace.